Cartoon Network released six TV pilots online. Two of them are announced to become a full series, the rest are in limbo as a single episode test run. Can I see that? I'm linking the episodes in the description, along with a grocery list and all my favorite vowels. If you live in a country that blocks you from watching these pilots, uh, good luck with that. If they blocked Canada, then sorry, you don't deserve good cartoons or free healthcare. I'm here to make like genitalia and expose these cartoons to all my underage viewers. So here is my personal top six Cartoon Network pilots. It's juice and jam time. Excuse me, I don't agree 100% with your personal opinions. Hey man, that's cool, I respect that. Cause this is my United States of order. Live free or die! <laughs> Absolutely the most unappealing of the six shorts, Mars Safari follows characters I refuse to believe were designed by a mentally functional human being exploring Mars. You have mental problems, kid. <laughs> yeah, I do. An hour after my viewing, I forgot half of what happened in the episode. Worth some laughs, but I would never watch this again. Danger loves company. I created a totally awesome robot with incredible time travel hair, who sometimes gets on my nerves. Get off my nerves, get off my nerves! Now. Right off the back, I assume my science fiction project had some relation to Sheep in the Big City. It did not, although it shares a resemblance to another series. Do you like Secret Mountain Fort Awesome? Yes! No, you did not. I'm the only person in the world who watched that show. My science fiction project is that kind of humor. Nasty and weird. It's a meh of a show, but there's no appeal for this kind of gross-out show anymore. If Cow and Chicken came out today, it would have never worked. We shall rule the universe as father and puppies! Oh, hello! Are you a potato? Barbie! What now? <laughs> At number four is Paranormal Roommates. Two slacker mythical creatures are caretaken by a government agent. It's nothing more than regular show with a bit of ugly Americans thrown in, if Mordecai and Rigby had severe dependency issues. Ah, comes these wee atoms. Regular show storyboard artist Benton Connor created this, and it has no purpose on this earth. Why attempt to make a knockoff of a cartoon you're currently working on? As it turns out, this is a watered-down remake of a college short film Benton Connor created in college. Give that one a watch instead. It's actually its own thing. Ah, ah, ah. No fighting, remember? <laughs> if you're evil and you're on the rise, you can count on the four of us taking you down. Let me tell you about Rebecca Sugar. She storyboarded some of the best stories on Adventure Time, composed most of the songs you love on there, and draws Ed, Ed, and Eddie Yowie. You may not think that last one's an accomplishment, but I do. Rebecca Sugar quit Adventure Time to create Steven Universe, already in full swing for a series about an adventurous kid hanging around older girls who either mess with or are condescending towards him. Together, they use wacky magical powers to fight evil. Is this normal? Are we winning? No, this is bad, Steven. Help! Uh, I can't! I'm... a butt face. The verdict? It's Adventure Time with no dog and more princess. I freaking love the designs, the colors, the varied body types, the fact that it's the only cartoon on the list that isn't a sausage fest. But what irks me is a major factor of Adventure Time quit Adventure Time to make a show the near exact same as Adventure Time. You may defend Paranormal and Steven for being rehashes because the same crew are working on it, Yet Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff, Samurai Jack, and Foster's had primarily the same crew, and each one of those were so distinct from one another. Since the college short of Paranormal Roommates is so different from the current pilot, I think what happened was these two shows were going to be something else until Cartoon Network forced them to emulate what's popular. I'm too negative sometimes. One episode is not enough to judge. I do like it so far, it's just that I hope it'll grow into its own style. Don't make fun of Steven. Yeah. This clown is gonna save your lives. And then at midnight, we get to bust open my Missy Pinata. I can't pick a favorite. The final two cartoons on my list are a tie. One minute into Clarence, I'm already glad this has been greenlit for a full series. Stupid, but funny. Two minutes in, I feel sympathetic towards him for inviting classmates over when hardly anyone wants anything to do with him. <laughs> 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 oh, that used to be me. 
It's weird, but it has a relatable charm of what you used to do when you invite friends over. Maybe I'm looking too much into this, but I'm expecting this to be one of those funny cartoons with some sentimental moments. <laughs> Another Adventure Time rehash? Not quite. It's not a rehash, it takes inspiration from that, plus Dragon Ball, plus Street Fighter, and all the 80s culture you get at a regular show in Gravity Falls. Find the graffiti wiener. Rat it, please? A wiener is you! What we got here is a hyperactive kid who talks like young Goku in a shopping plaza of all these creative superheroes challenging people to Street Fighter style battles. Power! If you're gonna take ideas from so many sources, go big or go homo. And this show goes homo. It's only a one episode pilot, but damn if I want this to be a series and a video game. If you're gonna ask yourself one thing in your life, ask yourself this. Do you want Adventure Time meets Tenchi Muyo? Or do you want Adventure Time meets the 1980s and Dragon Ball? Dragon 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 Hello everyone, and welcome to the Bit Pick Show. I am Weasel, and today we're going to be showcasing all of this summer's premier premier cartoons in hopes that when you vote for our next cartoon cartoon, you will be properly informed. Joining me a little later in the broadcast will be the winners of last year's Big Pick, the stars of our newest cartoon cartoon, Grim and Evil. But now, without further ado, may I present this selection, Yeehaw and Doodah, on the Big Pick Show.